How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to TFI Cutips, where both myself and Cletus are about to empower you with some knowledge. This question was answered by myself in a Q&A session yesterday, and uh, verbally, mate, verbally, so I thought, ah, I could show this in a video. It could do its own video in its own right. It's quite a good one, I thought. So uh, the question was, I've got a robot arm as such, but it doesn't have to be a robot arm, mate. It could be anything. It could be anything that moves. But it's 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 at a resting position right now. So just say this is 45 degrees. This arm is at 45 degrees from the floor. So picture an angle of 45 degrees from floor to said arm. That's its resting position. I want to be able to move it around like this to make sure everything is hunky-dory and tickety-boo. But when I let go, I've lost the 45 degrees resting position. And I can pull it back. But that ain't 45 degrees, mate. That's a guess. How do I get it back to 45 degrees? Well, the best thing at the moment is undo. That's a Pretty much all you've got uh which isn't the best option because you might have done stuff since you moved it and then you're undoing the stuff you've done since you moved it which isn't really ideal another thing you could do possibly is to redo a constraint say you want to you, you could just re-angle it back to 45 degrees and then delete that angular constraint so it sticks it for yeah not really a good plan so how'd you do this mate how'd you do it right well it's easy you go to constraint and then you want to select the angular constraint and that's you've got you can use two options you can use uh, undirected angle or explicit reference vector but we'll we'll go for undirected angle because it's the easiest one of the two and then you want to constrain it into position at 45 degrees so face one is going to be that top face face two is going to be the xy plane or clunk and then it's at zero degrees we don't want zero degrees buddy we want 45 degrees and then you that's it. That's, so that's going to constrain the arm at 45 degrees. But Neil, Neil, if I do this, it's not going to move. Indeed, it's not going to move. That's constraining it to 45 degrees and, and removes that degree of freedom of the arm moving. So you want to you want to utilize this box at the bottom here, right? This is relatively new. I say relatively new. I don't remember when it came in exactly, but I'm thinking like a couple of years this has been in. First thing you can do optionally is you can give it a name. Give the constraint a name so you can pick it out easily in a field of other constraints so we'll call this uh, robot lift angle and then the crucial thing that solves all your problems here is this ticky box here use angle as resting position angle being 45 degrees so you're using 45 degrees as the resting position and for all intents and purposes this ticky box here relaxes the constraint what I'll do is I'll apply the constraint without ticking that box and you'll see that we've now got no movement at all because constraints remove degrees of freedom from the model. That's the whole point of them. And that we now can't move that, that arm at all. So let's find the constraint, which we'll find easily, mate, because we named it robot lift angle. Right click on that and edit it. And if you tick this box here, it relaxes the constraint but uses 45 degrees as the resting position. So let's tick OK. And then we can now pull this around yes it moves everything works fine i'm happy with my design i'm proud of this and when you let go it snaps back to 45 degrees and that's how you do it right another couple of options is uh, minimum and maximum limit so let's edit the constraint again no i don't want to drive it no you could drive it that looks that looks cool as balls but we're going to just edit the constraint and we can use minimum and maximum limits but what the hell does that mean right it's they are used if you've got a restricted amount of movement in the components so say for example this com this robot arm can move to there and can move to about there that's all it should be able to move to in real life you want to be able to simulate that with the constraints so what you do is you go right click edit and then you use the maximum limit to say I don't know, 90 degrees which is uh, some sort of vertically up and then the minimum value will say 10 degrees click OK now when you grab the arm and move it it'll stop at 90 degrees so it's not going to go any further and then when you go down it's going to stop at 10 degrees and then 90 degrees and then 10 degrees it's a bit it's not foolproof if you pull too hard it will go through but it just if you just be gentle with it it's fine it's fine and then when you let go it snaps back to 45 degrees and that's what you do and how you do it right that's it that's it it's pretty quick pretty easy one but it's got a lot of use cases and a lot of different scenarios, so I thought it's worth it's, it's worth having its own video. So, ta very much. Just FYI, circumstantial situational message. I'm giving away a 3D mouse for the love of all that's holy. Will somebody please get me to 10,000 subs so I can give this goddamn mouse away before it literally decomposes on my shelf? Yes, go and check out my channel and look for the 3D mouse giveaway video and uh, to see what you've got to do. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Toodles.